Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back with Sample Sunday. I am so excited to be back this week because I tried out some amazing things that I want to talk with you guys about. So the first thing is what's on my lips is actually a lipstick from Giorgio Armani. This is the Rouge de Armani. This is a matte formula. Typically when I think of like a matte formula, I think of very drying. I think of uncomfortable. This is not. This is very comfortable. I don't like anything really sticky or slippery or like that you can feel on your lips unless it's like a lip gloss. I like a lip gloss because I know that it's not going to go nowhere. Like as far as like the way that you can see it. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. So anyway, I really like like lip glosses. This, however, is not a gloss. Of course, it's matte. I do like it because like I said, it's very comfortable. I like the way it feels on my lips. It's not drying, even though it is a matte formula. I like that it is a really pretty color. The color that I'm using right now is uh, 400. So I really love this color. I think it's absolutely, I don't know, is it 400? Nope, I lied. It is androgyny, androgyno number 102. So I didn't try the other colors, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm just not into the brighter, bolder colors. I like a more nude lip. I can't help it. I know some of us love the bright, bold lips. There are occasions where I do feel comfortable wearing a bright, bold lip, but for most days, I like a more natural lip. This would be one of the ones, like a lipstick that I would purchase this color specifically to wear like on the daily because I feel like it's a very easy color to wear. I feel like it goes with my skin tone really well. So I really love this. I would definitely purchase this. This is going on my loves list at Sephora. So the next time they have a sale, I'm going to be purchasing one. Unfortunately, I missed it during the last Sephora VIB sale. Then we have these. These are the Bliss. These are the 8% PHA AHA blend sensitive skin gentle resurfacing peel. These are fine. They're very much similar to like the Dr. Dennis Gross, like the Alpha Hydroxa Beta, Beta Peels. I don't know what they're called. Basically, it's like a little pad that you rub all over your skin once you're, before you're like wash your skin and everything first and then rub this all over at nighttime and then go in with the rest of your skincare. And it's supposed to peel your skin gently. It works fine as far as like being a gentle peel. If you want something a little bit better, I would recommend the Dr. Dennis Gross. I think they are way, way better. I know they're more expensive, but there's a reason why they're more expensive is because they do a great job. So I probably wouldn't purchase these. I would just purchase the Dr. Dennis Gross. Then we have the Murad. I, I fell in love with this. This is the Environmental Shield Vita C Triple Exfoliating Facial. So what this is, is like a, almost like a granulated type of formula my nails look awful i do apologize my nails look horrendous i've been putting trees up all week so i'm like why paint them when i'm just gonna chip them off and i just been biting them so i, I apologize my nails look horrendous just noticed that when i was looking in the monitor and i'm like whoa <laughs> your nails look pooey anyway this is like a granulated feeling product it has almost like a lotion consistency as well with it so you put it onto your skin you rub it into circular motions it's going to help to fluff off that dead dry skin especially for me right now my everything on my body is extremely dry my hands are so dry they hurt so i love something like this to fluff off the old dry skin and that way there i can go in with good lotions and hydrate my skin and make it feel better so you leave it on for 10 minutes you rinse you rinse it off with cool water and it just feels really good your skin feels very soft afterwards so i really love this and i will definitely be adding that to a wish list as well I fell in love with this. This is the Wild Honey by Rusk Pure Mix. It's a repairing mask. First of all, it smells phenomenal. I don't know a way to describe it. It just smells really good, very luxurious, very, very good for like a product that is just like going into your hair that's a mask because it sticks. Typically when you put a product like this in your hair, it's gonna stick a little bit, but this one sticks for days. Like for days you can smell this in your hair. It just smells phenomenal. I love, love, love this. So I have added this to my wish list as well. I love the way it smells. I love the way that my hair feels afterwards. The only problem I had with it is that it didn't do any kind of detangling. So that was like a downfall, but I typically add a detangler to my hair after I've showered anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. This is also cruelty-free, so if you guys are looking for cruelty-free brands, this is cruelty-free, so that's another bonus. We'll definitely be adding that to my list. And then we have this right here. This is the First Aid Beauty Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. It's sulfate-free, safe for color-treated hair, safe for sensitive skin. 
I love this. The only problem I don't like about this is I don't know if it's the bottle that this is in and if it typically is like this or not, but it is so, so thick. Like I had a hard time even getting it out of the bottle to use it. So it's a really, really thick formula. It's not like a typical shampoo that I've ever used. So if you're gonna use this, have some muscles because it's gonna take a lot of effort to get this out. But once you get it out, it makes your head feel so good. Like my head was feeling very itchy because of my dry skin, my dry scalp. So my head is not itching anymore. So I really, really love this. I don't know if it's going to help as far as like the flaking because I have a lot of flaking going on in my hair because of the dry skin. So I'm hoping it does. I don't know. I'm going to be purchasing that though as well. So I love that. Another thing I fell in love with is this right here. This is the Living Proof Curl Definer. I've been trying not to use so many heat tools on my hair. So I'm trying to go a little bit more natural, which is what I've done today. I went more natural. This is just my natural that's kind of curls, but it would be more curly if I did like the curly girl method, I guess I could get it to be more curly, but this would be helpful for me because less damage to my hair, which means my hair can be healthier. So it does smell like that, um, peppery smell though that I don't love. I don't love that part to it, but it doesn't stick. So if you're like me and you don't love the way that some of Living Proof's products smell, don't worry. This scent does not stick to your hair. So it's not going to be like smelling like, I don't even know if it's described as peppery. I would say peppery, but I don't know what you would describe it as. For me, I would say definitely it smells peppery, but I do love this. And it's another thing adding to my wish list. So I've got so many added to my wish list this week. Then we have this right here by La Roche Posay. This is the Tolerane Purifying Foaming Cleanser. This was a good cleanser. Do I think it's the end all be all? No. I think it's a good cleanser as far as being very gentle. It's got, when it says foaming, believe me, it is very, very foaming. Like when you put it onto your skin, your skin, like immediately you have like suds and stuff. So don't go heavy handed with your cleanser. Go very light handed with your cleanser. It's going to do a great job. It doesn't leave my skin feeling tight or itchy because sometimes when you have something that's very foaming or bubbly, it can make your skin feel tight and itchy and it, it didn't do that. So it's good. Do I love it out of all the cleansers I've ever used? No, I really like the Purity. I think that one's really, really good by, oh my gosh, who makes Purity? Purity, but Philosophy. Philosophy makes that one. That one is really good. So, uh, okay, now we have our two perfumes here. So the two perfumes I have are, actually one is a cologne. So we have the Azaro by... No, this is Chrome Azaro. I don't, I don't know. This smells fine. Would I purchase this for my husband or for myself? No, it's not my favorite. It's just too plain, too blase. I'm like, okay, it's just, it's just a cologne. So I'm not very impressed by that. This right here is the Marc Jacobs uh, Daisy Oh So Intense. I love this. It smells so good. It's not a winter scent though. I would say it's more like a spring summer scent. It's more of like a florally like. I don't know, it just reminds me of being outside and just enjoying the warm weather. Definitely not this time of year where we have Christmas trees up and things like that. So I do think it's a scent made for a certain time of year. I would purchase it, probably not right now. And honestly, I need to stop purchasing full-size perfumes because I have a an addiction to perfumes and I know it, I just need to stop. Okay, so that's everything I tried out for this past week. Let's go ahead and move on to some new, Oh my gosh, it's not like I got a frog in my throat coming out. New samples. So we're going to start with uh, hair and body. So I'm going to pull. Oh my gosh, this thing is so heavy. I'm going to try to fix this back on top of here. This thing is ginormously heavy. So let's see. The first one is, let's see. I'm going to dig around in here. I'm going to dig. Okay, what's this? We have the Redken Deep Clean Dry Shampoo. I feel like I've tried this before. I don't know why, but I just feel like I have, or maybe it's just because I've seen the bottle going into my basket. I don't know, who knows. The next one is, let's see, oh, it's this. We have the Bumble and Bumble Repair Treatment Strengthens Hair with Honey Bond Building Complex, which is something else I wanted to mention about this because I don't love the smell of honey. It does not smell like honey. So <laughs> hopefully this does not smell like honey either because that's not one of my favorite scents. One more product out of here because I feel like this basket, we need to start emptying it out quickie, quickly, quickly. We have the Crepe Erase. This is the anti-aging hand repair treatment. Oh my gosh, I can definitely use this like right now, pronto. So I'm glad I pulled that one out. Let's go ahead and set this down over here. 
oh my goodness i'm excited i'm very excited about the crepe erased hand stuff because my hands are i don't know if you can tell it or not but they feel like sandpaper they're they're awful okay now let's do makeup let's pull two out of the makeup basket the first one is let's see we have Lancome Tint Idel Ultra Wear. This is in Bisque. It is a 24 hour comfort transfer resistant foundation. Ooh, I'm very excited about that as well. I like something that's transfer proof because I hate when you go to hug somebody and your makeup rubs off on them. That's like the worst feeling, especially if they're wearing like a light color shirt and you're like, dang, so sorry. <laughs> My bad. The next thing is, let's see what do we have here. We have Lorac. This is the three-in-one light source illuminating primer. Cool, we got foundation and a primer to try out, so I'll try them out together and separately and then see if they work well together, of course. All right, now we're moving on to skincare. So skincare, oh my goodness. <laughs> Get back in here. Where are you going? I'm losing stuff. All right, so we're gonna pull three out of skincare. The first one is, let's see, what do we have? Kate Somerville resurfacing overnight peel with glycolic acid, retinol, and niacinamide. So I do love Kate Somerville. I feel like she has really good skincare products. So I'm excited to try that out. The next one is, ooh, La Roche Posay. This is the Tolerain Soothing Repair Moisturizer with 0% preservatives. <laughs> okay, that's different. I've never seen them add that, something like that on there. That is weird. And then the last one for skincare is, what is this? All right, oh my goodness, I just dropped one. We have the Murad Clarifying Oil-Free Water Gel. It's a moisturizer, ooh, cool. So I don't know if I'm gonna need something that's uh, water-free and clarifying, but I would love something hydrating. That would be awesome. Let me grab the perfume, I forgot to grab that. It's over here behind you guys. All right, got it. Grab two out of here, oh my gosh, we're so low. The perfume we have here is Coach. This is Coach Blue. Um, ooh, I don't think I've ever tried that one before. The next one is, ooh, Seville Orange Nest. Ooh, orange always makes me think of winter time, so this is gonna be a perfect time to have an orange fragrance. I don't know, do you guys have certain scents that remind you of certain times of the year? Orange always reminds me of winter because when I was in school, they sold fruit for like the FFA and then of course it was oranges and it reminds me of that. I don't, I don't know, it was just, that's just me. All right, let's move on to our giveaway bag. The giveaway bag was this one right here. It is a coach bag. It is jam packed full of goodies for you guys. Let's see who the winner is. Um, Let me find my, my video. I wasn't ready this time. I was ready last time and of course this time I'm not. That's how it always works, isn't it? I'm, I'm like this, I'm very unprepared most of the time. Let's not lie. All right, so I'm gonna scroll through the comments and choose a winner. Let's see. Um, let's go to the very first comment. That's what we're gonna do this week. Whoever commented first. The very first comment is from Shay D. Murray. She says, hashtag sample Sunday. Hope your week has been wonderful. So Shady Murray, you are the winner of this coach goodie bag. So all you have to do is look in the description box, find my email address, send me your mailing address, and I will mail this out to you. So Shady Murray, oh wait, she didn't pick a number. Oh no, so sorry Shay, I have to have a number. So we're gonna move on to the next one up that has a number and that would be Nina Linda. Nina Linda says, sometimes you have to go missing in action to enjoy you. Love that shirt. Have a wonderful and blessed week. Hashtag Sample Sunday, number eight. So Nina Linda, you are the winner. I apologize to Shay Murray, but you have to give me a number as well, not just hashtag Sample Sunday. So Sh Nina Linda chose number eight. So let's see. Nina, you are the winner. So go ahead and contact me through my email address. Um, let's see my wish list two four six eight so number eight is the wet and wild bare focus tinted hydrator tinted skin veil Ooh, that's going to be perfect for this time of year well actually no that would be a really good summer is my camera not focusing i feel like it's just not focusing so there's that and it's 5.99 great deal it's got 249 reviews with four and a half stars so it looks like a good product especially for the price so 
Nina, that is what I'm gonna be choosing from my Ulta wish list. Of course, don't forget this week, guys, we still have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10. Uh, no, we have nine, eight. We have eight, I think, left. We have eight items left on the list, so choose an item one through eight. So that is the numbers you're gonna choose. Okay, let's kind of move on to getting the goodie bag ready. Here is the goodie bag this week. I thought it looked perfect for the occasion. It looks very festive. So it, it does have a zipper up here so you can put items, but then it also has a zipper on the bottom so you can put more items. So it's gonna be a great bag if you're doing any kind of family travel this holiday season. So let's go ahead and pull our goodies. Let's put 10 in here. The first thing is, let's see, we have the Hello Activated Charcoal Epic Whitening Fluoride Free Toothpaste. So we have a toothpaste. Cool, that'll be perfect for you to travel with. The next one is Dolce & Gabbana Eau de Toile. This is the one, this is a good size perfume. This is 0.25 ounces, so it's a decent size. The next one is, let's see, what do we have? Ooh. We have the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. So here's a mascara. Then we have It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This stuff is really good, especially for dry skin. And this time of year, I think we all have a little bit of dry skin. The next one is CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. So here's another little moisturizer. I don't know why my camera is not focusing today. It loves me. <laughs> Such a great YouTuber. And then we have, what do we have here? This is the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray by This Works. This stuff smells so good and is really nice for helping you get like restful sleep because I use this a lot. So that's five. The next one is, let's see, we have Estee Lauder Envy Lash. It's a pure color envy multi-effect mascara. Ooh, that sounds fancy. One more to go. The next one is Purity. Oh my gosh, the one that I was just talking about, the facial cleanser. This is my favorite. I think it's very gentle. I love this facial cleanser. This is the One Step Facial Cleanser by Philosophy. Three more. The next one is, we have the It Cosmetics. Oh, same thing we just already pulled, but that one's not in a box. The other one wasn't. Then we have BASD. It's an invigorating body lotion with mint. So here's a mint body lotion. Two more. The next one is, let's see, ooh, what's this? We have the Urban Hydration Brighten Balanced Micellar Water with Aloe Vera. Ooh. Two more. The next one is, ooh, this is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I love this conditioner. It really does help to detangle. It smells fantastic. It leaves my hair feeling really nice. And the last one is, let's see. We have Strivectin. This is the Advanced Hydration Lactic Acid Nightly Retexturizing Serum. Ooh, Strivectin is a pretty expensive brand too. So you've got a goodie bag here filled of all kinds of things. Perfect for traveling, like I said. So this bag is a bag almost kind of ready for you. So if you're interested in winning this goodie bag, all you have to do is drop me a comment, any comment you want. Just make sure you hashtag Sample Sunday and then choose an item one through eight off of my Ulta wish list so I can purchase those and finish up that wish list. That wish list is coming to a close, thank goodness. So anyway, that is it for this week. I would love to know if you guys have been using any samples. What kind of samples have you been using? Did you just kind of take a easy over the last holiday, like the Thanksgiving holiday? I was like, what holiday did we just celebrate? Easter? Oh my gosh. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.